Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings. I hope you have all had a wonderful coronation day and I hope you really enjoyed it. Whew, it's hot here. I missed the whole thing. Have you ever had one of those days where you feel like you've got a little demon following you around? And it's not like big things go wrong, just little things, lots of little things, and they build up until you get in a really ratty mood. Anyway, I'll come to that in a bit. This is my review of the coronation. <coughs> Boat's rocking about quite a bit today. Um, we've uploaded the tiara video. Some of the images are quite blurred. I think because they were initially very small and Graham did it on the Mac in his whatever studio program it, it uses and he couldn't get them to be anything but blurry, unfortunately. But we didn't want to leave you out, so we've included them. That video's up and I hope you like it. He also had trouble downloading the music because apparently the, the thing that he uses, OBS or something, said your iMac is far too old. We've updated the software time to buy a new Mac or something like that. And we were in a rush to get it out today, obviously, because it's the coronation. So I don't know what all you guys thought of the coronation, but I am going to give my truthful and candid review of the presentation of it. Um, and I, I'm guessing I'm probably quite alone in this, but I have to say it because although I missed the whole thing, I started off watching the Royal Grift on the, the live stream that she was doing. Um, but then, of course, I had to go out on the 12.30 trip. Uh, so I was at sea for uh, two hours. Then when I came back, um, I re-watched it on the... I think it's the actual Royal Family's channel, the official Royal Family's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, and at the beginning of it, I thought, this is great. They've got great camera angles. I mean, they were really close to everybody. That I, I haven't watched other live streams, so I don't know if other live streams had this, but they were really close. You could see absolutely everybody getting out. Um, I'm not quite sure who chose the mustard-coloured carpet. I am going to be candid about this. What the hell? Who chose that? The Duke of Norfolk, the Archbishop of Canterbury or the King himself? I did not like it and I thought it clashed horribly with the vicious uh, royal blue edging carpet, uh, not to mention the bright pink pew uh, 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 sort of I don't know what what you call it because I don't go to church but they're like these things I suppose they put prayer books that there were two of them at the front in a sort of a plummy pucy pink on mustard yellow I mean is the Duke of Norfolk colorblind or something I don't know um the channel I watched the live on they were just focused on Charles King Charles, King Charles, King Charles. And that irritated me somewhat because I wanted to see Camilla. Particularly, I wanted to see Camilla. Um, I thought Camilla looked absolutely terrified. She looked really, really worried, poor woman. Um, and I didn't, of what little I saw of her. I saw a couple of very brief glimpses of William and Catherine and their children. And from what I saw, they looked stunning. So I had to, in the end, I had to leave YouTube and go to the Daily Mail, who get the best stills, to get photographs. And even there, it was King Charles, King Charles, King Charles. And I'm like, okay, 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 I know what he's looked like all my life. I want to see what Camilla's wearing. I want to see what William's wearing. I thought Sophie and Edward looked amazing. Again, from what little I saw of them, Princess Anne's feather in her hat. And every time she moved her head, it made me laugh. You know, she'd put her head down and I'd just see his eyes and then she'd put her head up again. Hilarious, better than a candle. Was that strategic seating? Um, Harry, from again, from what little I saw of him arriving, and, and he was in a group of others and I would have liked to have seen them. He was with uh, Beatrice, Eugenie and their husbands and the Tyndalls. And I would have liked to have seen more of what they were wearing. Harry actually turned up behaved himself. He actually looked quite happy. He was chatting to, uh, is it Edo? And um, the uh, uh, Jack's, Jack Brook, Brooks Bank. He was chatting to them quite happily. The group, they all seemed to embrace him. I didn't sense an ounce of ice. Uh, funny that, isn't it? Seeing as Megan's not around. <laughs> and that's the only time I'm going to mention her name in this because 
th that that's not for today. Um, I was quite surprised at seeing as a lot of dukes had not been invited or aristocracy to see people like Ant and Deck. I have nothing against Ant and Deck, but it's a coronation. Uh, Katy Perry. Okay, it's kind of funny because she's neighbours with someone who shall not be named. But again, uh, lots of celebrities, lots of A-listers. To me, it looked like there was plenty of space in the Abbey for far more chairs. Why was there no red carpet up the aisle? This is a king and a queen. Where, why are they just... <sighs> the whole thing of it, I didn't like the plumes on the horses that pulled the carriage going there. I haven't yet watched the bit of the carriage leaving. I mean, it, I wouldn't have felt it was out of place if some of the guards had had big playing cards stuck to their chest, you know, like something out of Alice in Wonderland and Queen of Hearts, you know, off with their heads or pantomime. It was brightly coloured, far too brightly coloured, didn't feel traditional. It felt too celebrity, too Hollywood. That's not, and it, it felt like there weren't that many people there. It was too slimmed down. This is a coronation. Well, anyway, that's it. It's done now. It's over and done with. Um, I was disappointed, I have to say. Um, I'm sure a lot of you disagree. And, and, you know, that's you're entitled to. But I can't really stand here and say, oh, that was marvellous and I loved it. I mean, the Queen's uh, Jubilee, everything there was just done so lovely. And her funeral. I know it's a sad occasion, but it was clearly planned to a tea by her. Um, and the balcony, when they came out on the balcony, I did watch the balcony shots. And um, the, the way they had Charles and Camilla in the middle and then through the other doors. And, and they sort of kept uh, William and Catherine and, and Sophie and Edward and all of them in separate groups. That felt wrong. And I didn't like that. I used to love the way the Queen was in the middle and she had her family all around her. I used to really love that rather than, look at me, I'm King Charles, look at me, I'm King Charles, as if the royal, official royal family website, uh, YouTube, hadn't already said, look, it's King Charles, look, it's King Charles. That's what I really felt. I mean, OK, it's his big day, but it's not just the monarch. There's so much more to it than that. And as Katy Perry was there, I mean, she wouldn't have looked out of place with a big piece of cheese on her head or dressed as a fairy cake or something. I just felt it like, uh, and um, I'm not a fan of it because I don't eat sweets. So I'm not having a dig if anybody likes it, but it reminded me of either an, a Battenberg cake or an Outer Hebrides iced cake like they used to do in the 1970s. I mean, the mustard carpet and the lack of a red carpet runner down the middle of the Abbey for me. And also... When he was leaving the Abbey, the music at first, that was great, but then it kind of turned weird. It's nice music, but I'm not quite sure it was re re okay for that. I don't know if that... Well, I mean, I've never seen a coronation before, apart from the um, the video, like everybody else, of the Queen's uh, coronation. What what did you think, Graham? I didn't really see it. You I, haven't really seen it, have you? We went out on the boat. because I, I watched a little bit of it before we went out on the boat, and I thought... Is it me, or is there not actually that many people on the mall? There Ooh, was, there was the people on the mall. There was a turnout. Might have wondered if they kept them back for security. Yeah, maybe. But I, I just got the impression. Ooh. And then when they got to the, the abbey, I thought, well, I want to see, want to yeah, see the royal yeah. family. And you want to hear cheering crowds like, and yeah. All I could see was Charles and choir boys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all very well being inclusive and stuff, but this is. Britain, this is Great Britain, and uh, there was just, it It felt too small, too slimmed down, far too colourful, a bit like a kid's party, um, if that doesn't sound horribly rude thing to say, because I, I thought it I know, was a bit of a carnival. It was the colours, you see, colour makes a difference, a big difference, it was really, really harsh, really harsh, I mean I grew up in the 70s and I remember the wallpaper. Carpets, well, to be fair, I haven't the bathroom suites, it. and it sort of took me right back to my childhood. I suppose that was Charles's heyday. And Camilla, um, I was so looking forward to seeing what she was going to wear, but it, it sort of just felt like she was wearing a very plain white tunic. Um, and I think that's a shame. I'd like to have seen her look a lot more regal. Anyway, don't eat me alive. What did you think of the coronation? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I hope you do enjoy the Tiara film. Thank you very much for listening.